Hey guys, uh, my I'm bare lipped. It is hot. It is it is a muggy hot southern day. But I'm here with another Gothmon confessions. It's gonna be a little advice. Just gonna be a little advice. Grandparents, i.e. your parents. So your parents, then you had a baby, now they are grandparents. Uh, if I mix the two up, I apologize. Uh, sometimes I'll say my grandparents, but I mean my parents. It, anyway, it gets confusing once you have your own baby. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so also in-laws are going to be included in this narrative. Um, so, how to deal with the grandparents of your children, whether they be in-laws, adoptive, whatever. Pick your battles. That is the first piece of advice I can give you. Pick your battles. Because uh, you're going to have situations where you don't want your kid to ever, ever wear pink. Or you don't want your kid to ever wear a dress. Uh, and every single week your mother-in-law or your mom comes over with a big gaudy dress it's like isn't it great isn't it awesome I already told you she, she doesn't like dresses stop it she loves dresses okay <laughs> she loves dresses don't fight it because they're fitting into this new role of not being the one in charge and not being the one who's doing the raising and they're not quite sure how they fit into that role and they're, they're figuring it out right and maybe they didn't have little boys and they wanted dresses this could work on guys as well you know maybe you never ever want your your son to have Mickey Mouse clothes or I don't know that's not something to get into a battle with you know like just let them buy it when they're not looking put it in storage or take it to Goodwill or take it back to the store depending on your scenario but just let them buy it let them try it on take a couple pictures stuff it away forever um, so that's that's one thing but there are definitely things worth fighting about I know that sounds awful but if you were in a scenario where the grandparents of your child, whether they be in-laws or your parents or whatever, are not fit to care for your child, um, that is definitely something to speak up about. Uh, example, you have a parent who has a substance abuse issue. And they're always talking about, oh my gosh, you never let me take them to the park. You never let me watch them. You never let me babysit. You never let them come over to my house. There's a reason. Because if you have a parent or in-law or set of parents and in-laws that have a substance abuse problem and you never know if they're sober or if they're going to drink while they're caring for your child, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. But honestly, it's not worth risking the safety of your child over. So that is something you need to stand up for. You are the parent. This is your turn to care and love and raise a child. And no matter what the situation is, it could be a substance abuse problem. It could just be they're a little flaky. <laughs> it could just be they make some really not sound decisions regarding the safety of your child. Like they think it's completely acceptable to let your kid sit in the front seat without a car seat. And they're like three years old. Maybe that's the scenario. You know, that's not safe. Uh, maybe when you were being raised, it was totally acceptable, but it's not the eighties or the nineties anymore. The uh, studies have shown, you know, this is how you keep your baby alive, alive and safe. That that is, there's a reason those studies have been, you know, done. And a hundred percent, you are in the right to be like, until you abide by the safety regulations of today, and until I 
can see that you are not only willing, but consistently doing these things. I don't feel safe with you taking care of my kid. Point blank period. If you want access to my kid, you better go ahead and just bend to all of my rules because guess what? This is my house now. <laughs> that is your baby. So your, the safety of your child is ultimately up to you. Uh, legally speaking, your grandparents and in-laws have no legal right to your child. Uh, it's nice that you're giving them time with the kid. And if they want to come over for a supervised visit, cool. Uh, but they better be straight as an arrow. Uh, so <laughs> that's the thing. Um, you know, it, they will make you feel guilty. And they will guilt trip you and they will, you know talk trash and they'll be like well you didn't have a car seat and you're not dead <laughs> like that's not a it's not a gauge it's not, it's not a gauge that I want to put my kid in um, that they can do that all they want if they want access to their grandchild they better follow every single rule you have in place regarding the safety and well-being of your kid point blank period. Uh, so that is something you absolutely have the right to stand up for yourself in regards to. Absolutely 100%. Uh, if, if you just don't like the person because of something they said and you fear that they may not have the safety and well-being of your child in, uh, in mind, that is also cause for you just to be like, hey, uh, I just don't feel comfortable with you being around my kid. It's going to suck. It's a difficult situation. It could lead to lots of verbal fights. Um, but, and, and you know, oh my gosh, I'm cutting the grandparents out of my kid's life. That's going to suck. But if they're smart, they'll realize I screwed up. This is not my child. This is my grandchild. And I need to respect my child's wishes. Um, because guess what? They had their chance. <laughs> They had their chance to raise a well, uh, well-loved, wonderful child, and that person is you. They have their chance, whether it be with one kid or multiple. They have already been a parent, guaranteed, because <laughs> they are now grandparents. Uh, it's your turn, and they have no right to strip that away from you. You have every right to experience all the wonderful things that come with parenthood, along with the safety of your kid and along with, you know, all the decision making and raising the kid and dressing the kid and, and holidays. That is your right. You birthed the baby or brought the baby into this world or adopted the baby. It is now your turn. They have no right to steal that from you. And if they do, then that is a selfish move on their part. Um, they can disagree all they want, but again, legally speaking, you can hold that over their head. That's fine. You can hate me. You can, you know, never talk to me again, but guess what? That means you're never going to see your grandchild again. So who's the loser? Um, and I say this in a very bratty, like brash, confident way. Obviously, that is not what I'm suggesting. I'm not suggesting you go in there and wave your finger and, you know, all that stuff. What I'm suggesting is that if you are in a situation where you don't feel comfortable with the grandparents of your child watching the kid for whatever reason, it's completely justified to say that. And you're going to doubt yourself because a lot of parents will use those guilt tripping tactics and I'm disappointed and how dare you and they're going to utilize those. But that's just a scare tactic and do not question yourself because if something awful happens, God forbid, something awful happens to your kid, who's ultimately really responsible for that? You will never, ever forgive yourself if you're like, I had a gut feeling that my in-law, who was constantly drinking wine, you know, middle of the day, was going to do something, you know, and, and not be fully focused on caring for my kid, and oh, this horrible thing happened. You're going to blame yourself. 
and your kid's going to be hurt or worse and no amount of uncomfortable family conversation is worth that risk. Nothing. So, um, that's the thing, you know, a lot of another thing, just one more thing about parents with substance abuse issues. They're going to be like, I would never ever dream of letting something happen to this, this baby. I love them just as much as you. I love them more than you. I would never ever let something bad happen to them. That's not what we're questioning. That has never been in question. Obviously, you would never intentionally let something bad happen to the child. But you don't have the say in that when you are under the influence of anything. Whether it be like self-medicating on prescription drugs or alcohol or weed or whatever the you know uh, substance is. They have no say in how alert and aware they will be in that in that state but they are convinced they don't have a problem and they can highly function when they're you know drunk or whatever and so to them you're just being really strict and hurtful but I guarantee you once they clean up uh, later down the line or you know something like that they'll realize what they did wrong it'll click and they'll go I am an idiot and if they don't, guess what? They shouldn't be in your life anyway. So, uh, that's, that's kind of my piece on that. Um, that's really the only thing I can necessarily speak to because those are the only circumstances I've really dealt with myself. But 100% choose your battles. If it's something like, oh my gosh, I don't want my kid wearing yellow. It's just let them buy the yellow stuff. If it's something like, oh my gosh, I really don't feel comfortable because this person seems a little weird. Go with your gut. You had this baby. You have a, a link to this child. They, you know best. You absolutely 100% know best. Go with your gut. You get that gut feeling. You're like, oh, this doesn't feel right. Follow it. Whatever the case may be, you may be desperate and you have to go to work and there's no babysitter. Doesn't matter. You will figure it out, but that baby's not leaving your sight if you are not comfortable with whoever is supposed to be watching them. Got it? Awesome. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment. Uh, please feel free to completely uh rip me apart in the comments if you want. Uh, if you completely disagree, I get you. I'm fine with that. It's a, it's a matter of opinion. I'm not an expert. I'm just a mom. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Sorry for all the wonky shadows and the shaking. Yeah, you know what's going on. I, I just don't have editing equipment. My bad. But I do have merch, so you can check that out. That's in the description box below too. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love you guys. You are amazing. You are gorgeous. And if anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it. Mwah.